Good morning, Texas. We are in our second day of our Grapevine holiday getaway. Last night we had such a blast at the Great Wolf Lodge and hitting up Main Street, but today we're going to switch gears up a little bit. So Grapevine is known for its art scene, which we thought, why not combine it with the holiday season? Which brings us to Vetro glass blowing. I did notice that my Christmas tree did need a new ornament. Alrighty, I'm here with Spencer here at Vetro Glass Blowing. You are the shop foreman here, so you know how it all goes down. Please tell us a little bit more about the shop here and what y'all have to offer. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming out, by the way. And uh, we offer hand blown glass um, for your home. Uh, and we also offer uh, lighting options. And uh, we also offer opportunities for people like you to come out and make glass with us. Uh, ah. So during the holidays, we have a really good time uh, making glass ornaments with people. And uh, it's an opportunity for someone to uh, come in off the street um, while they're visiting the North Pole Express, maybe, and uh, make a, their own Christmas ball with us and um, a Christmas ornament. And so we thought this would be a great way for us to interact with the, the public, bring them in and be a part of their tradition. And people have been coming for years and have their entire tree full of our Christmas ornaments. So it's a lot of fun for us too. All right, so now I've come behind the scenes and we're gonna do an extreme ornament making right now. Well, you first have to start off with a, a pot of molten glass. Uh, think of a volcano, uh, stuff spewing out. That is the temperature of the glass. It's 2100 degrees. At that point, we uh, gather it onto a blowpipe. We'll just like scooping honey out of a honey jar. Uh, from then, we're gonna add colored glass. We're gonna melt that colored glass in. Um, at that point, what we have is a blob, so we need to kind of center it and shape it. That's a really important part to getting a round ornament, if that's what you want. We have to make a neckline to constrict it and break, break it off or separate it from the blowpipe. Yeah. And then we obviously have to add one last piece, the loop, uh, just so that someone can hang it. So, uh, in a nutshell, that's how it goes down. All right, now that my ornament is cooling down, we're gonna wrap up our time at Vetro Glass Blowing, but it's on to our next destination. Welcome to the Gaylord Texan, where we're literally going from fire to ice, and as you can see, they do it pretty big here. Ice sculptures, ice attractions, you know what they say, always do it big here in Texas. Let's go check it all out, see what it's all about. Martha, the director of PR here at the Gaylord Texan. This place is awesome. It Please is. explain to us how this idea came about and how you got an ice attraction into this resort. It's crazy. So we have this mega resort that's already big. We have millions of visitors every year, but during Christmas time, we like to transform into a winter wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> and so inside we hang 2 million holiday lights. Wow. There's 15,000 ornaments, 25 foot tall toy soldiers, train sets, and then we have a lot of activities for families yeah. outside of ice. You know, there's the snow tubing hill, yes. there's the outdoor ice skating, we have gingerbread decorating, there's cookies and milk with Mrs. Claus, we have an elf on the shelf character breakfast, so there's just a whole like itinerary of things that you can do with like any age of family. All right, so it's so cold out here. Our camera guy, TJ, say hi. Hi. My His beard is frozen. beard is frozen. So ICE is um, a 14,000 square foot exhibit. It's kept at only nine degrees yeah, to I keep the it. ice intact. <laughs> and what we do is we have 40 master ice carvers that come across the globe from Harbin, China. They get here, we make the two million pounds of ice, and then they spend 30 days carving it into this amazing walkthrough attraction. So the ice is created with a special recipe. When building a new sculpture, the artisan slices a larger piece of ice, then pours more water onto the new piece as glue. Ready? All right, three, two, one. <laughs> <Whee! laughs> 
<laughs> Each year, a new theme is chosen, and this holiday season, twas a night before Christmas. They even left cookies out for Santa. From one slide to the next, now in its eighth season, snow tubing is offered at the Gaylord Texan. The attraction is filled with real snow and 12 tubing hills that'll be sure to thrill those of all ages. Gonna go snow tubing. Let's do this. Woo. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> There is no place cooler than the Gaylord Texan for a fun-filled family holiday weekend. 